everybody! I just thought that I would do a little vlog. I look awful because I've just been traveling um, five hours away from where I live, so I'm in a hotel. Um, and I just thought I would update you guys on my life a little bit. Yay! So yesterday I had probably the worst day in my, well not in my life because I've been through a lot, but uh, the worst day in a while. <laughs> um, I went to the dentist and because I'm getting Invisalign I have to do all of these molds of my teeth. So I went in there at 2 and I came out at 4. I did 8 trays of molds. So that's like putting goopy grossness in your mouth and you have to hold it in there for like um, four minutes or one minute and then uh, it comes out with a mold of your teeth. So that's what I did yesterday. So I did the molding for like the first hour and then um, I did x-rays of my whole like all the way around my head. But here's the thing. Um, the dentist office uh, that I went to, they did not have like a wheelchair accessible x-ray room and because this machine goes all the way around my head, it like rotates around my head, I couldn't actually sit in my wheelchair for any of the x-rays because, uh, because of the uh, fact that the machine would hit my wheelchair. So I had to my mother had to hold me on this stool and she had to get on her knees so that way the machine wouldn't whack her in the head when it went around my head and I had to do this twice so that was not fun and then I came back in to the examining room and uh, they ended up having to take pictures of the inside of my mouth so what they did was they put this tool in my mouth and um, they stretch my lips across apart, so I kind of look like a horse. And then they stick a mirror in the, my mouth so that way they can see clearly both sides. And they take a picture. So I had to do this like four times where they like stretched my lips apart. It was not fun. <laughs> so that was my day yesterday and I ended up coming home and eating a ginormous piece of chocolate cake. Mm. So the verdict is I have to get the tooth pulled behind that one that is um, up front there because that one that is up front is an eye tooth so they don't want to pull that so they're going to pull uh, this that guy right there and um, so I got to get that done first and then I'll be getting my braces on. Woohoo! Huh. Um, so in further update, uh, the last time I talked to you, I told you that I was starting proactive on my face, and as you can see, it didn't work. <laughs> it actually ended up burning my face, so my face was like peeling, and I looked like I had leprosy for like a week, it didn't go away, and I could like peel my skin off in strips, that's how bad it was. So I had to stop using proactive, obviously. And so I found this website online, and it's called uh, acne.org, and it says that um, using a face cloth irritates your face a lot, and I use a face cloth. So I stopped using a face cloth, and I'm just like splashing water on my face and putting this skincare stuff on. And I'm not quite sure if it worked yet. My skin looks pretty bad in this video, but... Um, I'm hoping that I will see some results soon because I'm desperate. And another update, I just started my school on Monday. Um, so I've been doing well. I just, I'm a little tired, so I'm happy that I'm on this trip so I can just rejuvenate. Uh, it went really, really well, although I am doing math every single day just to push myself out of my comfort zone. So um, I... Uh, have been very, very, like, my brain has been dead. Dead, dead, dead. If you can imagine that, dead. I feel like it's scratched by math. Like, math had these talons, and it just went and was like, Aah! 
all the way into my brain and across my brain. Yeah, so that's how... <laughs> That's an illustration for you of what doing math feels like to me. <laughs> so, um, but other than that, I've been enjoying it. I haven't been finding anything too difficult right now. But of course, when you first start off school, everything is easy. And then when you get going, it gets harder. Yeah. So I still have a couple of exams to do, my provincial exams, and uh, then hopefully I'll be done with the exam scheme for a little while because I'm not too happy about it. No, no not. <laughs> That's my English accent and I like to do it quite a bit in the daytime and I like to bother people with it because I don't really know why, I just do. So, so, another thing that happened was that I um, just got new glasses. These aren't the glasses that I got, they're the same. Um, I ordered them and they are at home right now. So, I, when I get back, I will be able to wear them. But I got the really neat big black square frame ones, the kind of retro, retro vintage ones, um, because I want to look like a geek. Geeks are cool, just to let you know, yeah. So, I am very excited because I found out that they are at home, my house today. They got delivered, of course, right after I left, which I was quite sad about because I could be wearing them right now, but stinking pure later. Me. So, I am staying at a really, really, really awesome hotel. We were booked in these rooms that were, like, upstairs, and, um... They weren't exactly wheelchair accessible, and so the guys here, they moved us down to the bottom floor, which is supposed to be very schmancy, and um, that it's a lot more wheelchair accessible. It's got a huge shower with like a shower chair and it's walk-in, so it's really awesome. And they did it all with like no extra fees, so we're paying basically the same price for a nicer room. So I'm very very pleased and uh, it's awesome that people will do that for me to make things a little bit easier for me so I'm very very pleased about that just something I should have said when I was talking about school but uh, I told you I think that I was doing my grade 10 French this year even when I'm in grade 11 just because I didn't take it last year and I need it apparently um, and so I was going with a program called Tell Me More, and it's this program where you can speak to the computer. Um, but I've been having like major, major, major issues with it. Like I will say a word like at least 15 times and it won't recognize it. And um, my French teacher was sitting right next to me. And she's like, I don't know, you're saying it right. So um, I have stopped using that program because I'm quite annoyed with it. And um, I am going to try Rosetta Stone, maybe, um, because I still want to learn how to pronounce things. And because my school was online, if I were just to go with the normal French course, I would just be reading it off the page, so I wouldn't really be learning how to pronounce it or anything like that. So um, that's what I'm doing right now, and I hope that... Maybe I'll be able to speak a little bit of French to you by the end of the year. Uh, all I know right now is je ne sais pas. That means I don't know. I say it all the time. When people talk to me in French, which is rare, I just go je ne sais pas. I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. I can't speak French. I suck. So yeah, anyway, I am extremely tired and I'm probably going to go to bed soon. So... I will see you guys later. Ta-ta! Bye-bye! See you later! Uh-oh! I don't know why I said that. Bye-bye!